Michael, tell me what you got going on here. All right. Hey, Steve, I'd like to tell you about the Moses bandwidth engine and the interoperability demonstration we have going with Xilinx here. So the bandwidth engine device located here under this, uh, under this test socket is a high-capacity 1T SRAM-based high-performance memory array. Uh, it is uh, highly segmented, so we get a lot of parallel operations. We can do 16 uh, memory accesses uh, concurrently. That's eight reads and eight writes, and, and with all that bandwidth, that's a very high access rate, uh, SRAM replacement uh, type of uh, device, and with all that bandwidth and access rate, we have to somehow get all that performance out to the host device, and we're doing that through a high-speed serial interface. Now, hooking up to the Vertex 7 here, we're running 16 lanes at 14.06 gigabits per second on this particular configuration. The great thing about this is it's going to scale forward into ultra scale, and when we get to the 15.6 capability of the ultra scale device, we're going to be able to actually d deliver a 200, gigabit, 200 gigabits per second full duplex buffer capability. So in addition to the high performance buffering capability, it has high random access. We have the capability of uh, replacing four QDR SRAMs. Uh, and we also have an onboard ALU that does some offload of networking functionality. So we have, uh, we do our, our we're doing, uh, we're performing atomic read, modify, writes with the device. In the second generation device, we support metering and statistics. So with all that capability, it's really targeted toward the networking uh, infrastructure uh, equipment manufacturers or high performance line cards or switches and routers. So tell me how a system designer would actually use this in a system design. So uh, hooking up, you know, you can implement a packet processor in many different ways, whether it's an NPU or an FPGA. So hooking up to that host processor, we're, uh, we're providing memory access uh, to, the, to the packet processor uh, for uh, lookup applications, uh, for buffering applications, and for the metering and statistics applications. Uh, we have a configurable uh, interface from 16 lanes down to narrower configurations depending on what the performance requirements might be. Our capacity is 576 megabits, that's four times that of a QDR SRAM. And because we build this in, a, in an embedded DRAM technology, we have a, both a power and capacity advantage over a traditional SRAM device. Great. Thanks. All right. Thank you, Steve.